Welcome to the mouth of the Severn River. We are about to film the very last J-World Thursday night race of the season. And we have a very special guest with us aboard. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Tom Bowman. I'm a J-World coach. And uh, I teach on J-80s, so tonight's a good opportunity for me to see how they race on them. Awesome, and it's pretty dark out. That's not because we're losing daylight so late in the year. I mean, we are, but it's also very weird weather tonight. It's already raining. It should be very spicy. The J80s start first, and Turbo Sloth Dan Wittig is leading for Series 2 and overall. With only one race tonight, no one can catch him, but second and third are fairly close. Shannon Lockwood driving shenanigans. Tax out Kristen Berry calling the shots. The J70s are lining up for their start. Tom, what's something that a boat should consider in big breeze like this on a starting line? Well, I'd have a flat sail. And uh, ready to really punch it in. Get a little stage for start. Oh, Pete Fiery pulling the trigger and running out of speed are out of space at the start, so Progress will win the pin. The J70 Corinthian North Americans are coming up in Cape May where they race in the ocean. So this is actually great practice for them. Tonight's the kind of night you wish you had five people to hike out. The J80s find their long, far away top mark and all set simultaneously. For the J70's top mark, Kate Muller to her huge casting couch. Browns with a big lead. Second around, Randy Gould and Dave Shaney on Voodoo. Arthur Flodgett, our, one of our top boats here, decides to go straight down the middle with a wing-on-wing -wing move. Progress follows suit. Playing the bang to catch these, rock, catch these waves. That's a pro move.
Kevin McGee. But Turbo Sloth will take the cake overall for Series 1 and for Series 2. Tom, what are you looking for for boats to be doing on this drop? Any tips? Get it down quick. Yeah, <laughs> maybe start early. <laughs> yeah, start early, get it down quick. So you're not shrimping. dropping, one kite still up, and one boat wiping out. Just what you would probably expect to see back here. Pete Fiery sailing with only three people. That does make it much more difficult. And Celerity is still going straight. They're having trouble getting their kite down, so Pete Fiery is going to take an extra wide rounding. Kate muller Terhune took the win. 56 will round sec finish second with Voodoo in third. As sailors cross the line, they're thanking race committee for a great year of racing. Our Eric Halverson, our PRO. They're all headed to shore so they can pack up their boats and head to J World for an end of series party. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. Do you have any final thoughts about the evening? You're very welcome, and uh, I think it's been a very exhilarating night. I've enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> yes, I wish we could jump on a boat right now and, and sail it in, pop that great, kite. <laughs> wouldn't it? Yeah, sure would. Thanks so much for joining, and for T2P TV, for the Boat Yard Bar and Girl and J World, I'm Ashley Love. We'll see you next year.